Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Alternate Watch. For the start of the Halloween month, I thought we'd revisit, in my opinion, the scariest Observation Duty game. It not only has terrifying intruders, but also extremely creepy audio anomalies, which almost no other Observation Duty game even has audio anomalies. Now, on top of that, in this video, we're gonna be going for the true ending, which I've only shown that one time before, so you might have missed it. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time and let's hop into the game let's go oh baby um okay so it's been a while uh let's look through what we have to do we have imagery which is something on a painting or something on a wall displacement is literally what it sounds like just something moving we have mimics which are double objects so if you see an object twice it might be a mimic we have flawed which are intruders we have pure forms or other types of intruders preacher even more types of intruders then we got electrical which is like a light or something glitching a tulpa is a mirror anomaly which is like an intruder in a mirror corpse is obviously corpse and then unknown is anything else so that is the uh options we have um and there is a lot of crazy intruders in this one. Uh, there's also a lot of objects, so it's going to take us a little bit to get good at it again, because I remember this is one of the harder uh, observation duty games out there. Uh, so let's just take everything in once again, like we're playing it for the first time. We got two things right there. Uh, we have candles. We got forks or uh, apple, one single apple. Obviously, no people like the people we can see just fine. Yeah, the graphics in this game are incredible. Um, it could also have like pictures change. Oh, something changed. What changed? This moved. Displacement. Displacement in the living room, which is that living room. I'm assuming that's living room. Uh, I think this 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 booklet moved over to there. So you can see that there can be really small anomalies as well. Anomaly removed. We have to use our brain. That's good. Th threat level still vague. This will show us when it gets too high and obviously if it gets too too high you will die all right let's pay attention we got one two three four five blocks um there's so many observation duty games coming out in the near future or being worked on right now uh exciting stuff there's also many intruders that i have not seen for this game yet i know there's a few in this closet right here that i don't think i've seen yet there's also some tolpas because i think i've only seen one tolpa in this mirror here there's definitely more and preachers are also very rare uh we got hammer over there picture of this like classic mandala catalog guy um this one is easy right we got i think can things also get larger no there's no like uh object disappearance by the way which is sick there's no object disappearance and there's no like uh distortion or something so we're only gonna have is doesn't mimic i don't think there's any punishment for reporting things wrong so i might as well just report something if i think it's wrong so if you think something is wrong just let me know i mean do you anomaly not fine i thought it was going to be anomaly detected and i was like what the hell um that scissor right there what even is this picture nothing on the computer obviously that's a mimic right that's two things on top of each other it's gotta mm -hmm. be Evident threat level. Oopsie daisy. Uh, I'm gonna say that's something in the bathroom. Mimic right here. Two of these on top of each other. Or not. Is it just supposed to be a big one? Anomaly removed. Let's go. There's a gun on the bed. I think that's literally just a camera. We're setting up for our, for Phasmo over here. Um, okay, it's vague again, but that probably means there's at least two anomalies active, which is concerning. It's evident again. Okay, um anything moved here i'm um, suitcase in the m suitcase mimic in the bedroom you're totally right lots of mimics going on uh right that should be i think you guys are right you're watching on your phone you'll still be able to help there we go that puts us back puts us back on vague i think if you get an intruder it immediately goes to like evident obviously because i mean there's a dang intruder um let me think of the prime which by the way I haven't made a game since they announced this, but they are working on a sequel to this game. Uh, I still think that they should have just released the game in its current state on Steam, so more like, oh my God, wait, too many anomalies? I'm going to perish. But the, I, I forgot just how insanely hard this game is. Uh, Mimic in the baby room. Mimic in the ba What the fuck? I'm terrible. 
<laughs> okay. Well, there you go. This game is insanely hard. Someone is breathing. Oh. I'm going to just retry and forget about that. Okay, well, there was definitely a mimic. There's no movement here. Okay, we need to pay much closer attention. But what I was saying is that I'm working on a sequel of this game. And if you still want to, if you want to play this game, it's completely free, by the way. I will link the link to the game in the pinned comments or description down below. And if I forgot it for some reason, just yell at me in the comments and I'll add it. Um, or you can check on the previous videos because there I remember to add it. Because um, I, I, I really love the style of this Observation Duty game. I think it really strikes a perfect balance between like panicking you doing small things but also doing enough big things to keep you like engrossed and scared the whole time because like the problem with some observation duty games is that they don't have enough intruders this is like basically full-on intruders all the time mimic in the kitchen already no we already reported this there's no this is not a mimic um we already tried that earlier okay there could definitely be some anomalies active right now though um we have we're fine at least for now. This moved, or was this a displacement before? Because this was here in our previous round. Picture change in the bedroom. Ah, uh, you're right. Is, is that an anomaly? Dude, anomalies show up so freaking fast. All right, picture in the bedroom. Thank you. Um, no, pic no, like spooky mirror image. I was so scared as a child to look in mirrors in the evening. I thought like something was gonna stare back at me. Mirrors are scary, man. Mimic light. Oh, uh, there's three light. Emergency alert system. Local authorities. <laughs> I think that's electrical. Local authorities have issued an immediate safety warning to multiple counties. Please await further instruction. I love when they include lore like this. <laughs> As of now, a total of 3,426. Children have gone missing within the following counties. Bythorn County. We're so dead. County, I'm gonna have to report that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to report that, otherwise we're gonna die. Uh, anything moved here? How many freaking children were missing? <laughs> okay, uh, it's still one, two, three. Also books right here, we need to remember that. Not the children, won't anybody, the, the mimic, mimic here. This one again. Alert, no, we're fine. Uh, this, right? Yes, let's go. Okay, so Mimic seems to be the common anomaly. Also here, we need to remember this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six blue boxes, two brown boxes, two or three green boxes. I don't know if we can remember that. Maybe someone will. Uh, cup, cup here and there. You can see that. That's not underneath me. Um, oh. What? Oh, the Bing is just the hour. The rolling pin has moved. The rolling pin has moved. Displacement in the kitchen. Thank you. Love. It. Yeah, the TV anomaly. There can be a TV anomaly here as well. I, I like to have those play for a while. This brings me back, man. This is definitely going to be a mainstay for the like nostalgia month stuff that we're going to do. Mimic. I think we're going to do next nostalgia month. Uh, I mean, we obviously play games again here and there. It doesn't all have to be nostalgia month. But for, I think September is a good month because I've kind of struggled to find enough horror games to play this or in September because everyone releases their games in October because they're like, it's horror time. Mimic, there's three now. That's too many. Two is fine, three is too many. Um, Easy peasy. We're spotting way more. No, last time we didn't even make it to 1 a.m., did we? Would I consider playing RimWorld? Is there a Twitch integration for RimWorld? I love RimWorld, by the way. I love those types of games where I think those games are like amazing for Twitch. Because they're like TV remote mimic. Because they have like a lot of, uh... oh yeah, you're right. They have a lot of interaction and they are very like story or like, they, they like write themselves. There's so many shit things happening all the time. <laughs> Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Was there? This book was always there, right? Okay, no me or no images, no nothing. There's actually Twitch integration for RimWorld. No way. I've never seen someone do that, but that might not be. It's not doesn't exist. Two cups in the bedroom. Mimic in the bedroom. Two cups in the bed. Man, that's sneaky. Thank you. 
You guys are good at this game. You guys have watched the videos, huh? <laughs> I did a... I can't believe how good we got at this game at one point. We did a video where we beat the game at five times speed, I think. I think that was our record, beating it five times faster than normal. Absolutely ridiculous. Scissors moved. I can say this placement in the bedroom. We don't really have anything to report right now. It's kind of insane. I don't think that's going to count, though. Um, anomaly not found. There's some a sponge right there. There's nothing showing up right now, which is very concerning because that means we're probably missing it. Um, this carpet is fine. Uh, two green boxes. Every box here still looks the same. Two mimic here. Mimic on the stairs. Um, we're fine. Mars, thank you for the three. I know the plant can move as well. Am I crazy or were no the glowing stars were definitely there. Uh mimic. Mimic of the this was what we missed last time or what we were about to report. But then we already made it to two and we haven't even gone above vague level uh danger. Let's go. The door moved? Which door? Uh this door? Did the, was the door open before? I swear the door's always been closed, but I don't know. Uh, something on the something the kid's drawing. Why, why would you put this on the freaking <laughs> on the fridge? In the mirror? There's a tulpa in the mirror. Oh, it's the baby oh mon. Oh my god, behind you! 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 Please turn that shit off right oh now. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so good. I love those, man. Because that is the my favorite part of... Oh, that's a imagery. My favorite part of uh, Mandela Catalog is both the extremely creepy uh, alternate anomalies, but also the, the, like, the voices. The, like, super creepy... Hello. Open the door. I have a surprise for you. Like that shit. That is exactly what made mirror so scary for me as a child. Cause I expected like my, my mirror image would suddenly, what happened here? My mirror image would suddenly like smile at me in a creepy way or start talking to me or something. Like I know probably th you think I'm crazy, right? <laughs> but candle, candle moved. Um, but I don't know that, that was like one of my irrational fears as a child. I think this was straight before. Or knife moved? Anomaly removed. Candle. Oh, this knife moved over there. I, I see. I see. Okay, we're still in vague. Uh, that's movement. Mimic. Oh, it's mimic because it's down there as well. It's down there. Mimic. Because there's no there's no extra object or anything. And I think that's why Mandela catalog hits like my primal fear because it like re re uh ignites that weird irrational fear i has as a head as a child that's a mimic right there because it's basically that <laughs> alternates before it was even a thing that should be yes let's go thank you once again i feel so appreciated because that's what, another thing like this game has done so many like has shown other observation duty games like a, a blueprint for how you can make an incredible observation duty game and yet i i have liked a lot of observation duty games that have come out since this one got big but oh the candles the, the the fork move though um but none have really been on the same level as alternate watch even though it's literally a single map in a game that never fully released it is like a it is one of the best, if not the best, like not necessarily in terms of content, but in terms of like intruder density, creepiness density, as well as like, um, just like a great blueprint for how to have like stuff like this, have audio anomalies. Cause not all the intru- like you don't need to have intruders to make something scary. A lot of the observation duty games change tiny things and, uh, you constantly are just reporting like you're playing like a spot the difference game and it's not a horror game this is a horror game like it's a horror game first and foremost 
Um, wait, does the fork still move? No, the fork is. Wait, huh? Did I? Did it fix? Wait, I fixed two things. Yeah, I I hope that to see that some more games will still learn from this one, in terms of like, especially having audio anomalies be really creepy and like electronic or something happening on the TV, and all that kind of stuff is just adds to the atmosphere so you don't need to constantly have like intruders to make the game scary but you can do other stuff as well and i think i think the latest like observation duty 6 is a great example of uh like how it can kind of go wrong the scissors have moved the scissors have moved um because observation duty 6 is has gotten less scary than observation duty 5 and there's also way more like What makes you human? Did you hear that? Was that an anomaly or was that just my my own thoughts in my brain talking to me? We just oh. need this footage. I don't care how good it is. Hello? Why don't you make a memorial video for the only person that ever cared about you? The viewers will start suspecting things sooner or later. I'm trying to listen, but what the fuck are you saying? Uh, I also need to spot anomalies. I can't leave that active for two. There's an extra plant or movement plant. Uh, displacement. Something moves there. The mirror is supposed to be broken. What the hell is going on here? They're looking at emails. The candle. Apple moved. All right, I'll report the electrical here. So someone is clicking on the computer when there's no one there. The candle did move. You're right. Unless the candle was... Oh, you know what might have happened here? I think that's a, a thing that you can see how, how the game is a little undercooked. Is that if there's multiple of the same type of anomaly active in a room, you have to report the same room like over and over again. Yeah, you have to report the same room mm -hmm. over and over again before it actually disappear so let's say this moves and this move if i report displacement once it'll fix one of them then i have to report it again to fix the other one um basically and i think that's what happened there we're still in vegas we're at 4 a.m we're totally gonna make it um i never know this room this room is fucked we'll try we'll do we try and be two runs of the regular mode in a row and then do dark mode as well dark mode is very spooky was this the first game that had dark mode? I think it was. And then other Observation Duty games were like, ooh, that's actually kind of a clever idea. Let's do dark mode as well. And then dark mode became a thing. Like all I'm just trying to say with Observation Duty is that it's still such an untapped genre. Like there's so many, so much innovation that could still happen. There just needs to be like, and, and maybe the new Welcome to the Game Observation Duty game is gonna like be the best Observation Duty game ever made. It could very much be because it's like an actual uh, mimic in the bathroom, an actual like uh, no hardened horror dev uh, tackling the formula of an observation duty game, and especially because kind of Welcome to the Game really fits into the style already. I can see that game going absolutely crazy and being like one of the best, if not the best, observation duty game. It's very exciting stuff, and it looks photorealistic as well. Uh, we're definitely gonna die after all. Why is nothing happening? Oh, this moved. Okay, displacement in the kids' room. Um, and it's gonna have like similar. Because if it's just like if it's gonna have intruders that are like Noir and Lucas and stuff like that, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> like the ultimate cross. There's a mimic right here. There's double this. The ultimate crossover we never knew we needed. Right? There was only one of that before. I'm fairly sure. Yes, is that gonna be that? That is gonna be that. Keep it, uh, what the fuck? It's an imagery right there on the fridge. It's a real person now, no more kids drawing. Doll maker intruder. <laughs> like I can see, I can see that game going wrong if it focuses too much on the welcome to the game aspect of the game where it makes you walk around too much. I mean, it, it like it might be borderline impossible if you're gonna be able, if you're gonna have to walk around too much, and it basically becomes like a memorization game. 
where you have to remember every single room and all the items in it. But I can see Adam doing something insane, like randomizing the items every round. Like <laughs> Adam is notorious for making his games unreasonably difficult. <laughs> uh, so that could be kind of terrifying. Tanner jump scare. I played Scrutinize recently. We're at 5 a.m. We haven't seen, this is like the longest I've gone without an intruder. We haven't been just jumped. Hasn't been anything that jumped in our face. Maybe there's maybe there's an intruder hiding in the shadow somewhere. No, the tulpas can sometimes be very tricky. But it seems like we're okay. Fridge picture. I just set that right. Or did it change? Was there something else? Oh, no, it's back. The glow. Whoa! <laughs> Hello. I was just talking about how I missed you. Hello, sir. How you doing? You gonna look at me or are you just gonna keep standing there? <laughs> Creepy guy is back. This is, I think, a flawed, I think. So I'm gonna say a flawed in the living room. Yep. Hi. <laughs> the thing. You're just shaking, man. This is a creepy guy. Removed. All right, goodbye. Uh, still okay. I think this game somehow has completely random anomalies. Like, um, because we saw that in Midnight Monitor, there's displacement in the bedroom. Um, I'll say it. Oh, yeah, the calculator. You're right. We saw that in Midnight Monitor, which is a new Observation Duty game inspired by this one right here. Uh, which added uh, for the first time i've never seen that in any other observation duty game it added a curated anomaly mode where you ensure that you get like a specific amount of anomalies and i think that's something that i would love to see become a standard in all of observation duty because what hello uh they're all coming out at 5 a.m ah, hello uh i'm gonna say that's uh flawed again <laughs> can you please get out of here Hello. <laughs> what the fuck? You're very creepy. Have I even seen this one before? Because what can sometimes happen when you're doing observation duty is that you'll, um, like, play a whole round without ever seeing an intruder. So if you ensure that the player gets, like, two or three intruders every round, or maybe more, like, you, you should obviously create some randomness there, but you need to, like, make sure that there is at least a certain amount of creepiness going on because nothing feels worse than playing an entire round of observation duty and like getting to the end and then oh i beat it and you haven't seen anything creepy you were just like playing hide and seek with like books and cups and <laughs> shampoo bottles like come on man that's not why i'm here i mean it's part of why i'm here facing the door and the window oh that <laughs> Yeah, I re this, is, this is one of those anomalies that trips people up. Everyone thinks that's a face for some reason. It doesn't look like a face at all to me. I think this game was made in Unreal Engine because I saw Lumen in the settings of the... We did it! Easy peasy. Any any intruders? We 30 out of 33? <laughs> Wait, isn't there a secret ending? How did you do that again? You needed to make sure that you spotted all the anomalies, I think. Or something. Da, 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 da. <laughs> An unforeseen threat. What's going on? Has been eliminated. There were mimic lights in the bathroom? I don't think so. America, thanks to your loyalty, courage, and determination. It says something creepy after you go through this. So I want to see it. We may now carry onwards. We're going to do another round, obviously. Without fear. Are you sure about that? No, no, sick. They give it the three. I, it followed me home, Caesar. I do not want to see what is on the other side, but it has been days and nobody has come to help me. Monka S. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. All right, we're running it back. Still doing normal mode so everyone can get used to the anomalies. And then we'll do a round of dark mode. Just to really uh, go hard mode. Okay, so let's see. What did you say was a mimic? What was the mimic in the bathroom? There's nothing right now. There's definitely no mimic in the bathroom. This is just normal. Unless there was like a double laundry basket or something. There were three anomalies that we missed. And if we want to get the true ending again, which uh, I think in order to get the true ending, maybe you have to do it on dark mode. 
but but we're gonna play dark mode so we're gonna have to do it on dark mode then is reporting all the anomalies so we need to make sure that we there was displacement in the basement my favorite anomaly and i didn't spot it i'm stupid how did th there's double plants easy first easy start like this this game in particular just makes me want to mine it like mine and make sure that i've seen literally every possible anomaly and it's hard to spot all the anomalies in an observation duty game because there are still anomalies i've played observation duty one and two and all of them so many times and i know that there's still anomalies in there that i haven't seen because i've seen other people get them and i have never seen them because it's just all random obviously painting in the living room what no that's normal that's a normal creepy ass painting in the living room displacement in the kitchen I'll say it. Up the you guys know better. Sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes the scissors can move. The calculator can move. We know that. Anomaly removed. You're incredible with it. Oh, this fell over. I I was looking at that. I was like, there's something there that I don't remember seeing before. Um, you guys, you guys saw it. It's me in the corner. I'm moving all the time. I have to report myself constantly. I don't think there was any mimic going on. It's hard to, oh, there's a mimic in here though. Mimic in the basement, the same one from before. Ew, thank you for the 17, thank you. I think there's like many different imageries for this wall here. It's kind of, I still cannot really believe the observation duty like timeline, how it all came to pass. Like how no one knew about the games. I think, so I, I looked on YouTube and the only videos of Observation Duty were from Russian YouTubers, I think. There were like Russian and Turkish YouTubers that played Observation Duty and it got like semi-large for a, for like a week. Like it was one of those, every Russian YouTuber plays it real quick and everyone forgets about it. But then, and then one, I think it was a either a Turkish or a Russian viewer of mine in one of my comments recommended like the mimic in the living room. Sorry, I need to also focus uh mimic here i don't see a mimic I, re I still remember reading the comment i don't think there's a mimic camera rotated in the basement no oh the, the, this camera i thought you meant my camera <laughs> yeah you're totally right displacement in the basement let's go so one random guy was like hey you should play observation duty it is a spot the difference horror game but it's actually really good and then I just remember randomly booting it up and the rest is history. Uh, kind of wild how the whole thing went. I don't want to, I don't want to take credit for the entire I'm an observation duty genre, but it was kind of a, it was one of the, that meme, you know, the meme with like the dominoes and then one giant domino. So it's like Russian viewer in Sim, John Wolf, Gab Smolders, Jacksepticeye, Markiplier. <laughs> That's like the dominoes. That was basically what happened. Still kind of unbelievable. And now we have so many observation duty games. Scar, thank you for the 13. Baby girl, thank you for the 20. Okay, I need to pay more attention. I was too... Uh, displacement in the kids' room. I was too focused on other things. Godzilla, thank you for the 10. Uh, and... Uh, uh, Manly Badass Hero was in the... I mean, there's literally everyone has played it at this point, right? Manly Badass Hero has been in the dominoes as well. Um, I think John Wolf was the second person to... I think Manly Badass Hero and John Wolf kind of picked it up. I don't think I've seen C CJU ever play uh, an Observation Duty game. I would wonder. I love watching people. It's one of those genres that I love watching people play. There's a displacement here. I think you're right. Um, I love watching people play these games because it's super like it, it can be frustrating if they miss something that you see But for some reason, it's like weirdly entrancing because it's so relaxing because you don't have to do anything <laughs> uh, He does more story driven games. Yeah, uh something moved here displacement What happened something I'm gonna say displacement in the bathroom is there something like weirdly therapeutic about just watching someone else have to stress the fuck out and you don't have to do anything? <laughs> there was a displacement. Let's go. 
Um, one of my finishing con receivers is paranormal PI. It's kind of crazy that it's it's coming out in in two days from the time that we're recording this. Um, we only have one more map left, and then we have finished the entire game. Can you believe that? After years of playing that game, it is now finally going to be gone for or done forever. I kind of don't believe it. It's we're still vague, but I definitely feel like we're missing something. Wait, that's definitely movement right there. Displacement here. The VHS tape. Mimic in the bedroom. Uh, imagery and movement and mimic. Okay, there's lots of shit going on here. What the fuck? There is imagery first. Then there is a movement and a duplicated, unless that was supposed to be there. Wait, didn't I? Wait, what? This is imagery. Check. This is displacement. That one. And then the other one, I think, is duplicate. I think. Yes. And then mimic, or maybe that's just normal. It might be normal. We literally just... Why? How are we still in vague? Even though there were like three anomalies active in one single room. What the fuck? Okay, so you can really... You can have so many things active and still survive. Uh, I... How did we die so quick last time? I guess we just really sucked. This is a movement as well. What? What the fuck? I'm busy! <laughs> I want to say that's uh, flawed right there. If you can just let me report it real quick. <laughs> You're a little too close to the camera, sir. I want to report that one. I love the 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 the, the bad decision mark. Oh no, that means you know what that means. Uh oh, that means there's someone on the bed over here. Yep. <laughs> Thank you censoring it for YouTube. I appreciate it. All right, I'm gonna say that's uh this one. <laughs> bad decision mark. Rip. I'm assuming that's a Markiplier reference. <laughs> I'm not. I, I would just that would be a bit of a weird Markiplier reference. Uh, this is a displacement, by the way. It's the apple from the kitchen that has gone all the way to the basement. Look at that. I remember that one. Oh, it's from the YouTube series. I see. Um, we are we are in good shape. No missing calculators. I still need to watch more of the Mandela catalog. The videos just got like, I just didn't really understand. It's like a, it's like fine. You need to learn how to taste it like fine wine where I was like, I watched the first one. Oh, that's actually kind of nice, but I have to report it. I'm sorry. Is that that's unknown, right? That's got to be unknown. I remember the first uh, like a not. Oh, something moved. Was that just Windows XP outside. Yes, there we go. I think just move. Like the second uh, Mandela catalog video was started really slow. So I was like lost in the sauce. I was like, what's going on? I don't understand it anymore. I'm going to say that's a move. Displacement in the basement. Our favorite. I watched the... The Kane Pixel series is like so fun to watch though. Like the... The hole in the ground, uh... Have you, have you guys seen that one yet? Where, like, some guy finds a hole in the ground under a tree and then just goes in there? Like, not only is it, like, super creepy and, like, scary to watch in, like, in a really weird way, but just, like, you have to, like, admire the, the 3D, like, the, the, the skills that go into a video like that, because obviously... A hole like that does not exist in real life. So he like edited, he like uh, used video editing to put the hole there, which is just really impressive. And it still like totally feels real. Or does it? Dun dun, <laughs> Vsauce music. Vsauce is like such an interesting person. <laughs> He's always been very interesting. But the only way I, I see Vsauce nowadays is like watching or like watching his shorts. And he has like this really ridiculous brand of shorts where he just like always acts like an insane person. <laughs> like that's like his shtick. Shtick that he's completely insane. The bottle by Broken Mirror moved again? 
No, no, no. We, that was one of the reports I did earlier. Are yeah, we good? I mean, maybe we not good, but at least we're not evidently in danger. Are you hearing that shit? <laughs> Someone was whispering. It was too quiet. I couldn't hear it. Oh, extra box. Get that shit out of here. Yeah, I, some of this stuff is real quiet in this game. I think that's another choice that I never really understood from observate the from like the mainline observation duty games is that they uh never they don't have like a background noise like a background humming noise i really i really feel like that sells the, the it just feels better with the background noise like it's weird when it's super quiet in observation duty games and you have that in the main line all the time is that a duplicate the kettle moved yeah that's what i just reported i think i fixed it yeah, i fixed it we good we're almost at four and we get more talky Talk to me, anomalies. I want a preacher too. Preachers are so freaking rare. I think there's like two extra book in there. There's an extra book. Oh yeah, extra book right there, man. That's sneaky. Thank you. That wasn't there before. We're at 4 a.m. The witching hour has passed. We are now safe and we're totally not going to be jump scared anymore. Two boxes. Um, what do you mean? in the bedroom as well uh i mean there's too many books for me to like really remember what they look like beforehand but i'm gonna trust you there's a mimic in the kitchen as well dude everything has got you what the fuck oh was it this one extra book here are you kidding me that's so rude that was definitely one of the ones we missed before then that is too damn sneaky Mimic here? What do you mean mimic here? What even? No, yeah, you're talking about this. This is normal. All right, that's. I got a penny for every time someone said, told me that was an anomaly. Oh my god, the high jump! The high jump! The high jump! The high jump! Get it out of here! Oh my god, the high jump! Fuck off! Sick beat. I think. I don't know if that ever says something else as well. I know there's multiple different anomalies. There's also like screaming, like some crazy, there's some crazy sounds that can play through that baby phone. That is also another one of those like, oh, thinking about it, like imagine, imagine you're like babysitting or something. And then suddenly from the baby phone, you hear like, like demon whispering or something that that is gonna like stop your blood cold. Uh, that's an, an, an anomaly right there. Literal absolute nightmare right there. <laughs> and what's your worst fear as a teenager who babysat? Oh, something else. Uh, the rolling pin. We got it. I like that this one always fades your screen to black even when you get it wrong. I don't know why. I just leave. Just leave the baby. Excuse me. Did this just turn on? Mimic in the basement? Mimic in the basement. Mimic in the basement. I will report it, but I don't know what is. Displacement, displacement in the Michini? What's a Michini? Michini's balls? What? <laughs> hey, the, the rolling pin is still moved. <laughs> Whenever someone says something that doesn't make sense, I assume they're trying to make me say something stupid. <laughs> Got him. Right? Wait, what was the other now? I that is super convenient though, that it you get to fix multiple anomalies in a row like that. Movement in the basement then? Alright, displacement in the basement. Most important anomaly. 
It's this is a displacement over here at the stairs. You were incorrect, right? This was rotated. This chair. Two mimics boxes in the laundry. Wait, I'm blind. No, this has always been two. That's an anomaly. Uh, nothing is worth the risk. All right, I'm gonna say that's imagery, or is it nothing? Or is it like unknown? Nothing is worth the risk. Said no, wake up at six, influencer ever. That's the wrong, you gotta have the grind set. Everything is worth the risk. Two light switches? You are so correct. Thank you. We need to like, I, I need to know where to point the flashlight when we do the darkness round after this. Because we want to try and get the true ending, which might be impossible for all we know. I remember it took so many tries for us initially. That's a displacement in the basement right there. This based in the bathroom, watching the parrot. <laughs> I haven't looked at the parrot in a while. Something in the bathroom, you said? This is not a mimic. There's nothing in the bathroom. There's something in the bathroom. <laughs> There's something in the bathroom! Prayer form, get out! These can kill you, these can kill you. Gotta report them fast. These will kill you if you, if you leave them for long enough. What the fuck, look at the mirror! Dude, that's actually awesome. That was sick. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, got him. Pure forms are really rare. Also displacement. I'll say displacement, sure. <laughs> that was what a, what a timing, dude. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that, are you right? You were totally right. Wait, what? What was the displacement? Did something rotate? Wait, what, what moved there? Cause I need to know that for later. The toothpaste? What the heck? It's three minutes left. Anything creepy gonna happen right at the end here? If you get like an anomaly shows up right here, you're so fucked. There we go, we did it. It's been done. How many? 34 of 34. If we can do that for dark mode, we get the true ending. Okay, uh, let's see what the creepy message is at the end here. <laughs> Do not help a caller reporting a home intrusion, no matter how frantic their screams are. <laughs> okay. All righty, here we go. So now it is time for dark mode, which is the super hard difficulty where everything looks very dark and I only have a little flash. Another flash that's actually quite large. So hopefully it'll help us out. And because it's made in Unreal Engine and it actually has like ray tracing, if I shine something on like a wall, it'll actually reflect into the entire room, which is really cool. Like you, or uh, did I say Unity? I meant Unreal Engine, obviously. So like, look at that. You can reflect the light on the mirror here or through the mirror on that. Cause it like uses lumen and stuff. Now there will be stuff that we see now that we won't be able, well, look at that. I can just light up the whole room by shining on the wall. That's kind of, those are good tricks to know. Um, okay, rolling pin is still there. We're gonna have to be on our A game right here. No crucifix upside down. Um, no moving plants. Cause if we can somehow stay on top of all the anomalies, we will be getting a secret ending. The yellow shirt in there can move. As with all, I wonder if there could be a, like, I think that would be terrible. It would be a terrible game unless you have like a perfectly balanced, uh, unless you have many, many, many cool intruders as well. That's a displacement. But what if there was a procedurally generated observation duty game? I think it would be really annoying. <laughs> I don't think that's something I would like to play. I mean, I would, I would try it. Imagery as well. Yes. But I think it's not the type of game. I think that like being able to remember the anomalies is honestly like the way it's like the only way these games work Because some of the like things that can change are extremely minor and really hard to see and yeah, we got the imagery uh, 
It's nice that there's actually like so much light. So I, it's kind of like it is harder, obviously, but it's not that much harder. Like you guys are still able to see a lot. Uh, no mimic, nothing falling over. No. Displacement in the bathroom again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Totally. Thank you. That one. I don't think we even saw it a single time go to evident last round. We were just completely crushing it. It's interesting how we, the first round, we didn't stand a chance. And after that, we've basically flawlessly won everything. Interesting how that works. I love this game. You and me both. I'm just trying to shed as much light on this game as possible, just so people that are making observation duty games can learn from this one. Oh, music. I'll let it play for a little bit. See if we can hear anything cursed. That's a displacement on the stairs. It's just going to be this. The flashlight doesn't reflect in the mirror. It's just this. Okay, it never does anything else. Alrighty, well then we're gonna report it. Okay, no thing. Um, good stuff. We we can. Oh yeah, there's we can we could count the anomalies, right? Because there's always 34 anomalies every round, or like a there's usually around 34 anomalies. I think that's how we how we did it last time. How we figured out if we could get the true ending or not. Oh, Mimic. Let's go. That's a sneaky one. Two vents in the laundry room. Uh, that might actually be an anomaly. You're absolutely cracked. If so, I would have never seen that. I did I report it. Dude, <laughs> let's go. Now you can even see, look at that. When I shine my flashlight on this, you can even see the pink reflection on the wall. You see that? So cool. I love, I love Lumen, man. I love like the lighting system of Unreal Engine. Like it's not fully realistic, but it is such a close like approximation of, of lighting in real life that it, and it still runs so well. Just really exciting stuff. It's RT, it's some RTX on business. Yeah, for sure. Uh, plant displacement basements displacement in the basement displacement in the basement our favorite the camera move okay you are totally correct as long as we stay in the rhythm so far so good indeed if we don't get the true ending on our first try, we'll do a second try. And then if we don't get it, we'll have to refer to the old video. But I, I I believe in us. I believe that we will get it. Yeah, we got the camera movement just now. Thank you guys for reporting that. Error code. I'm going to say that's electrical or unknown. I guess it's camera related. So electrical. <laughs> error code 333. What is error code 333? Is that going to count? That does count. Okay. That's still there. And nothing else has moved here. I remember for my uh, web design classes, they literally like one of the, some of the questions were like, what does this error code mean? And then they would like give us a bunch of error codes and you just have to like memorize every single error code. Like there's some system to it, right? Like, uh, if it starts with a four, it's an error of... What was it again? If it starts with a five, it's an error of the server. If it starts with a four, it's an error of the user or the other way around. One of those. And then if it starts with a three, I don't even know. Um, client. Yeah, client and server side. So there is like some system to it. Um, but it was very silly. Yeah, 404. Why is you again? Get you out of here, pure. Dude, don't die. Don't kill me, please. Look at the the mirror. Is he gonna change? Did I report it properly? Look, that's so sick, dude. <laughs> Hello. Lomily removed. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Stay. Stay. Pay close attention. 
Kids room, something with a vent. Uh, error code 418. What is error code 418? I'm just going through all the camps so we don't get lost. Flipping between them because that can happen sometimes. Okay, nothing here. Wait, this is different. I'm going to say that's a duplication. I'm a teapot. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a joke one. <laughs> I am a teapot. I don't know the song. What was something in the kids' room you said? What's in the kids' room? Vent? Not supposed to be a vent? Uh, okay, let's just, let's just stay focused. Hyper vigilance. Not found and we got a creepy lady. I don't know what that means, but probably isn't very good. Uh, is there something extra here? A pillow moved displacement in this room. Is that what you're saying? Okay, this room is totally safe. Rolling pin hasn't moved. That hasn't moved. Nothing here. There's like nothing. Oh, that is moved. Okay. You madman. Displacement in the living room. Thank you for the... I don't even know what it was, but thank you. The pillow? Pillow moved? Wait, something is different here, isn't it? The calculator. The calculator has moved. Displacement in the bedroom. Let's go. Some of these rooms are easy because they're like super bright whenever I shine the flashlight anywhere. microwave can move and everything why is the kitchen so quiet what's going on with the kitchen man toilet What are they saying? Oh, please open the door. Oh, man, that fucked. That's so fucked. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> I love that, man. That's so creepy. There was so much shit being said there. Like it was, they were like, there was a whole party going on and then it, it went quiet. Please open the door. <laughs> ah! Get out of here. Flawed. Dude, 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 I should focus more. I was so distracted. But report it. Hello. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Beautiful face shot. Fuck. Okay, uh, how are we doing? Uh, we need to pay attention. Pay attention to everything. Nothing here. Nothing is worth the risk. Okay. Go, go, go. We, we, we had our fun. Now we need to get back on track. Mimic in the basement. Do not be afraid, my dear shepherds. Do not be afraid, my dear shepherds. Wake up, Joseph. Wake up, Joseph. What's the mimic? I, I believe in you. I believe in you. You are... Oh, yeah, you're right. That was extra mimic. Nice. Good job. Displacement. Uh, that's a displacement right there. I le There were so many. There must be many anomalies active right now. Pictures. Displacement in the basement as well. Our favorite. Phasmo bunny still there. Uh, imagery right there. Were you right about the displacement? No displacement and we got a creepy face. That creepy face was directed at the person saying that in chat. You're gonna see that when you close your eyes tonight. Get ready to have nightmares. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ruthless. Okay, that's back in place. 
The lid in the laundry room? No, that was supposed. That was a. That was uh, extra before. Uh, the display or mimic here. Okay. Um. Yes, I, I got jump scared by that slightly. Nothing here. The lid there is supposed to be off, by the way, in case you are unfamiliar with this game. Apple. And pineapple pen. What what the what uh, how happened to that person? Pen, pineapple, apple pen, or whatever the fuck? Is the cat picture different? Cat picture different. He still makes music. He lived happily ever after. <laughs> okay, dude. And then they all danced. Come on, I really want to get that secret ending. Him. It's fine. I feel like we're definitely bad. Imagery in the basement. Did I miss it? I'm gonna check it when we get there. No mimics. What's the imagery? Toilet paper in the bathroom moved. You are totally correct. That's a very sneaky one. Thank you for being better at the game than I am. It's saving our life. We got a mimic right there. Mimic in this room. We're gonna have like 33 out of 34 reports. It's gonna be a tragic disaster. Nice. How many damn reports? Like 30... I think also this game has... Some of the Observation Duty games have such long nights. Like far too long. And then they also, like, at the same time have, like, a system. Displacement in the basement is our favorite. Uh, where if you don't, um, like, you only see cool anomalies once it reaches, like, 3 a.m. So you literally just have to, like, go through the same three hours, which usually lasts far too long. Until you start seeing cool stuff. We got the mimic in the stairway, by the way. If you didn't see me report that just now. The parrot disappeared. It's literally right there. What do you mean? I'm confused. Are you are you an alternate? Are you working for them? No mimic up there. So this game cannot have multiple of the same anomalies. One anomaly will only show up once. Kids electrical? fuck what do you mean no uh no mimicry there no no weird shenanigans anywhere we're at five this is where this is where we gotta put our extra pants on our extra gaming pants you have a spare pair of gaming pants put them on on top of your other gaming pants that's a displacement right there the sponge moved Uh, what the fuck? That look, look at the weird reflection. Uh, nice. Yeah, do you have uh, RGB lights for your pants? Put them on now. Put the Christmas lights around your pants. Okay, that's electrical. I'm gonna not... No, I'm not here to listen to your garbage. I'm here to get the secret ending. That's an imagery as well. Come on. What's with the green stuff in the kids' room? Uh... POV, you've never been a child, so you don't know what glow-in-the-dark stickers look like? Are you an alien? I used to have those in my room as a child. Like, universe... I, I think they're actually, like, radioactive or something. I think they're, like, illegal now. <laughs> I think the way they glow is with, with, like, I don't even know. I don't think it's uranium, but it's definitely something... <laughs> Um, so, uh, that's why I'm so fucked up now. <laughs> I can blame the glow and the dark stickers. I mean, I think there's versions that aren't radioactive. Is that a displacement? Like the, the golden cat there slightly moved, it looked like. 
probably not gonna be. Oh my god, I'm insane. <laughs> okay, okay, that was real good. Anything else? Nothing down here. We're so close. Can we Movement! Displacement in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, the cat moved, dude. Look at that. Mimic. Mimic in the living room. I'll report it. Chair in the bedroom. Mimic in the living room. Chair in the bedroom. What? The chair moved? Is that what happened? Displacement in the bedroom? No, dude, you guys are saving my life right here. Okay, go, 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 go. Um. Oh my god. Is that an extra? No, that's normal, right? Nice. Dude, you're insane. Can we get it? Please. Don't have any more anomaly. Can we spot one more? One more before the end? Nothing in the kids room? No mimic? I think we are good. If there does it doesn't if nothing shows up right now randomly at the end, we should be good. Come on. Please. Did we get it? We can't even report anything. We got 34 out of 34. Is that gonna give us the true ending? Wait a minute. I think I skipped the true ending one time. If all goes well, we should America. 07 in the chat. K Kona's all around. Here we go. An unforeseen threat. I can't go to the main menu. Let's go. <laughs> like, how is this a fucking, like, unfinished game, dude? Like, we... Imagine they added, like, two... One or two more maps for this game, and it would be, like, hands down, objectively, the best Observation Duty game ever made. I am moving, by the way. Uh, I can't move. I can just move my... Wait, what? There we go. I can just move the the character. Always signal admin, no reset. It's an XQC. <laughs> oh, hi. Is the Maria statue? I can't move that way, right? It's just a shadow. I'm moving back. Oh, the shadow's gone now. What could possibly go wrong? What the fuck? I don't remember seeing this last time. Is that is there different versions of the true ending? Wait, I think last time I got jump scared unless that was the same. All right Well, anyway, I think we're gonna call it there for Elton to watch uh, Like hands down one of my favorite or observation duty games The only thing that can be said about this one is that it is too short there's not enough content, which not like the map is chock full of content. It's just that there ha there would have to be multiple maps for it to like really truly be the best one, right? Two, three, four maps like this would make it so incredible. However, we might see that in the next game because the developer of this game is working on a sequel to alternate watch i don't know why they aren't just finishing alternate watch but that's the thing with developers sometimes they got a vision and they just like they they did something and they're like i'm done with this even though it's not uh, it's not finished yet like i would say just finish this game add like one or two more maps put it on steam sell it for like five bucks like all the other observation duty games and you would release your first like game that already has so much marketing put into it for free by all the big streamers or by all the big youtubers because literally everyone up the markiplier plays this one but yeah that that is just the way some uh developers work they just have like a vision and it doesn't matter how much money they could make doing uh, a specific thing they'll just keep going with whatever they want to do which can be which you can respect as well so yeah we are uh gonna be seeing alternate watch 2 or whatever it's gonna be called uh come out in the future and when that arrives i will definitely be playing it and you're gonna see it on the channel but anyway hope you enjoyed that little trip uh we're gonna obviously be playing a ton of horror games in october uh uh, not that we don't do horror games outside of October. We play horror games every uh, year or every day of the year. However, October is obviously going to have a lot of new horror releases. But anyway, I'm rambling. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely game share and chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash sim or get the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.